Section 2-5, Determinants and Multiplicative Inverses of Matrices, Day 1. The goals are to evaluate determinants, find the multiplicative inverses of matrices, and have a little fun. All right. So let's take a look at example one. Let me zoom in so that we can see this really clearly because it's a little small on the screen. Come over to it. There we go. As you're writing this down, I want to draw your attention to the bars on this matrix. Okay, notice that they are straight lines. We do not have the usual little tips on this, okay? Those aren't on this one. And that's for a particular reason. This is actually asking us to do something to the matrix. So we're going to use those straight lines because this is asking us to find the determinant of the matrix. Another way to write it if you're not using the straight bars is to write DET and then the regular matrix notation. This is something that you can do on your calculator. But once you know how to do it, it's actually faster to do it by hand. The time it takes you to just enter it in your calculator, you will have been done in waiting for the other person to do it in their calculator if you do it by hand, because it's super duper quick. Okay? The process goes like this. We take the product of these two terms. So I'll do 3 times 9, and I subtract from that the product of these two terms, 2 times 5. So we get 27 minus 10, 17. See, super duper quick. <coughs> okay, let's move to the next example. Example 2, we will find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. Now this is where um, having a graphing calculator or a calculator app that ha can handle this on your iPad can pay off because this does get to be a lot of work. However, we should understand how to do it by hand also. All right. I hope you're using pencil on this and because we're going to want to do some things real lightly with your pencil to help us organize through this. And let's get started. We're going to begin with this by crossing out the top row and the first column. All right, the top row and the first column. I'm going to, I have the ability to make these semi-transparent, so I'm going to do that because it will help us out a bit. I suppose I could have just used my highlighter tool also. but All right, so I've crossed those out. And what I'm left with is this sub-matrix that I can find the determinant of. So I'm going to start by finding the determinant of the 2, 2, 3, negative 1 matrix. And this value up here, that where things are crossed, I'm going to put that out in front as a multiplier. Now I subtract from that move this over like this. Each of these are going to move over one column. And now I've got another matrix that's left. The 1, 2, 5, negative 1. And I'm going to find the determinant of that. 1, 2, 5, negative 1. And I put my multiplier out in front. And then we do it one more time, except this time I put addition there. All right? It's a changing pattern, alternating pattern. And so I move over one more with that column that I crossed out in that circle. And the matrix, the submatrix I'm left with is 1, 2, 5, 3. And I put the negative 5 as a multiplier out in front. <clears throat> so let's carry this the rest of the way out. All right. 
So this will become 2 times 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 3 times 2 is 6, so minus 6. So I, right there, I just did this. Okay. 2 times negative 1 minus 3 times 2. All right. Minus a negative 3 times 1 times negative 1. Correct? minus 5 times 2. So we've got negative 1 minus 10. Plus negative 5 times 3 minus 10. 3 minus 10. Okay? Zoom back in. All right, so to finish this sucker off, we've got 2 times a negative 8 minus negative 3 times negative 11 plus negative 5 times negative 7. So negative 16 minus 33 plus 35. So that's uh, negative 49 plus 35 is a negative 14. Okay. Now, again, the place where a lot of people make mistakes is here. They forget that it's first subtraction, then addition. So you might want to make special note of that in your uh, in your notebook this <coughs> if I was doing a bigger matrix this pattern is going to go subtraction addition subtraction addition subtraction addition it just keeps on alternating like that okay all right good all right so this is where the application of finding the determinant comes into play we're going to find the inverse of the matrix. And it's specifically, this is the multiplicative inverse. It comes into play later. Now, you've done inverses before of numbers. With a matrix, it's different and more involved. It's not just like a reciprocal type thing. Okay? So we're going to find the inverse of the matrix. Now, there's another way we could actually write this. We could ask for the inverse of a matrix by writing this. We could say, or that matrix to the negative 1, which is what a lot of people, makes a lot of people think that we would just flip it over into its reciprocal somehow. But that's not what goes on. All right? And we're not dividing by it. Uh, we are finding a multiplicative inverse, which for numbers would be done with division, but not necessarily for matrices. So this is how it happens, okay? The inverse of the matrix will be equal to 1 over the determinant, which, remember, that's just going to give us a number. So we'll have a number out here. Multiplied by, now this is, this is a great term, Many, many years ago when I taught this the first time, I was thinking this part of the inverse has to have a special name. It looks like it has a special name. I couldn't find the special name anywhere. I asked all the math teachers I knew. I couldn't find it anywhere. I still don't know if it has a special name. So I asked uh, my colleague, Mr. Shapleski, about it. And he goes, I don't know what it's called either. I just call it the switcheroo. So that's what I've called it for quite a few years now. It's called the switcheroo. And this is what happens. The 2 and the 4, these guys, switch places. Okay? The 2 and the 4 switch places. And then the 3 and the 2 become their opposites. So it becomes negative 3 and negative 2. Okay? So again, these two guys switched places. Okay? 
switched places, I'll write that on here, switch places, and these two guys become opposites. If someone ever finds out the name of that, please let me know. I'd love it. You can leave it in the comments section below the video. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. No, I just did. That's awesome. So let's uh, continue here. We have to find this determinant first. All right. So remember, the determinant will be found by going 4 times 2, which is 8 minus 3 times 2, which is 6. And I've got my good old switcheroo here. 2, negative 2, negative 3, 4. And that leads me... Oops, sorry. Okay, I'll back up here. Somebody needs... We're okay? All right. Uh, that leads me to 1 over 2 times the switcheroo. Hey, that rhymes. 1 over 2 times the switcheroo. No, it doesn't rhythmically make sense, though. Dang. All right. And now the last thing I have to do is I'm this 1 over 2, which was 1 over the determinant, becomes a scalar multiplier of the matrix. So the last thing is to distribute this 1 half inside to each of those elements. So I get 1 half times 2, 1 half times negative 2, 1 half times negative 3, and 1 half times 4. Which gives me an end answer of 1, negative 1, negative 3 halves, and 2. Boom. 